Hey, what's up guys? It's Coach Ben from Online Soccer Skills. So today's video, I'm gonna be talking about center back, how to get better at that position, and how you can keep better possession. All right, so before I break this down, I wanna share a quick story with you. So over the last weekend, I went to go watch two youth games, and I saw this happen in both games, all right? And this is a problem I know most players have at center back, is when they'll receive a ball from their left back or their right back, what they do is they take too small of a touch. The ball's not getting off their feet, okay? And the ball's getting caught up. And what that allows the forward to do on the opposite team is to close you down and put you under pressure. And then you just have to blast the ball away up the field. And that's not the way I wanna teach you how to play. I want you to have a lot of possession in the back. And I want you to be calm every time you receive the ball we want you to be calm with the ball. This way you're relaxed, and this way you want the ball, all right? And there's two types of center backs out there. There's a type, type one is the, the player's gonna get it and just crush the ball up the field and lose possession. And when you do that, you're making it harder for your own team because now they have to play defense again, all right? Or you can be a smart center back, get the ball, look to possess, even look to attack out of the back, all right? And if you watch any of the top pros, this is what they do. They always are calm with the ball. Okay, so I'm going to show you an easy tip right here that's going to help you out. So let's say my right back has the ball and they're going up the field, they're turning, they're going to play me a ball. Anytime I'm going to receive a ball back here and think about it, I'm going to be pretty much the last player besides my goalie. I want to make sure that I know what my options are. Okay, so anytime this ball is coming to my feet, before the ball's played, I already know, okay, with I can, I can just check over the shoulder, I know where my other center back is, and I know where the left back is, okay? So I already know what my options are. So if they, this ball comes in, I can just, within two touches, I can open up, pass the ball along, all right? This way, when I get to the game, I, I know even if there's a, a forward coming in here, I can turn and play that ball without feeling pressured, all right? And all you have to do there is check your shoulder before the ball gets played into you not after the ball gets played because if you look after the ball gets played all right you're going to lose track of where the ball is okay so you got to know where your teammates are all right number two it's all about your first touch okay so if i have a poor first touch if it's leading me back this way and i want to go this way then i'm going to be off balance playing that ball all right and if i have someone closing me down they're just going to jump on that first touch if i have a poor touch there right so this is all about taking your first touch where you want to play the ball okay and that's going to allow you to keep much better balance when you pass the ball to your teammates okay now finally let's say my right back plays me the ball all right i have it here and there's another forward that's in between uh my my next center back and my left back well then i can look to play a chip over that player straight to my left back in the air and that's a ball you have to get used to being able to play and again when I saw those games uh, the other weekend, I'm seeing a lot of players having a lot of problems playing 20 to 30 yard balls, either on the ground or in the air. And if you wanna practice that, right, it's very simple. We have a bunch of videos already on YouTube um, that can show you how to play a driven ball or a chip or a 30 to 40 yard ball. You can just go search that there. But it's, that just comes down to technique and repetition. Because in the game, if I'm about to play a ball and I know I cannot play that, and I'm, and I'm not confident, of course I'm gonna mess up, okay? And it's gonna be the same for you, all right? And if you know you can play a ball consistently, over and over again, you're gonna want to play that ball, and that's the difference. Wanting to play and knowing you can do it versus thinking that you can't, all right? And that's, that's a mindset that you have to develop, and that's gonna come through training, right? So an easy drill that you can do, um, this is something that you can do with a wall, or with a teammate, you might need two teammates for this, is you can have a right back, knock a ball in your feet, all right, and practice getting in the motion of checking your shoulder, okay, opening up, quickly playing a ball back to your center back or across the field, all right, and this way you can work on your range of passing, okay, you don't wanna just play a five yard ball every time, you could try to open it up, play a 30 yard ball across the field, or you could try to play a ball, a diagonal ball to your outside mid. Okay? And this is something I want you to get really used to doing. And when you can play in two touches, that's a lot faster than playing in three or four. And if you're hanging on to the ball too long back here, 
that's going to draw in the forwards from the opposite team that are going to close you down, put you under pressure. And remember, we don't want you to panic when you have the ball. We want you to be calm. 